welcome back to my channel um, so today I have something very exciting I'm going to unbox and um, test out for the first time I finally got the Himi Mia or Himi Maya gouache set um, so it just came in actually I think yesterday uh, and I'm excited to open it up I haven't even taken it out of the bubble wraps yet so I'm really looking forward to it so First, let's uh, pop a few bubbles. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> okay, um, here I go. It's, it's quite heavy. Um, but I really, I mean, I like the packaging and it's like double packaged. Okay, so this, take out, pop a few more bubbles. Okay, I'm done, for now. Um, so here, here, the set that I got, but I mean, it's not that expensive, although I don't think it's as cheap as it is in the US for some reason. But anyways, I just, I've been seeing, so th the story is, I've been seeing it for a long time online for the past few months and the um, minute I, I've seen it, like, I needed to, I wanted it as well. And I've never actually used gouache, as, as far as I know. Um, by name, I've never heard of gouache from what I remember in, in high school when I was in art class. Um, I've never actually used gouache. I know watercolors, I know acrylics, I know oil paintings. Uh, oil paints but I don't know gouache so I actually really wanted to try out gouache because I've heard that it's a mix between acrylic and kind of like in terms of like um, what kind of medium it is it's sort of like a mix between acrylic and watercolor in in the sense that it's like water activated you can reactivate it with water uh, but it has the opacity, opacity uh, of um, acrylic paints kind of thing is what I've heard so I'm and from what I've seen online and a lot of other reviews out there uh, it looks so good like especially like the whites when you want to use it for clouds I'm excited to test it out in different ways um, so this particular set it comes with a, a nice card it says oh I really like this wow a person needs to wear two things to look great confidence and smile how sweet is that? I love this. This is so inspiring. I'm going to keep this forever, I think. And it has like a... Dear Valued Customer, thank you for purchasing products from our Light... Oh, it's a Light Wish store. We really appreciate and value your support. Etc, etc, etc. Yeah, it's asking for our feedback and comments. I really like this. I think this is so sweet. Aww, and the heart that looks like a leaf. It's perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, um, so this, this is what it's called, Mimi Gouache. It's the 18 color set, uh, 30 milliliter tubs, I guess. It's interesting, it has a picture of a, a horse. Something weird. It's a picture of like a horse and almost like a girl. I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll show it better once I open it fully. Uh, okay, maybe you don't want to stay here. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so I'm so excited. So this um, image, I don't know what that image is. It looks like a horse and a person. See that? So weird. Okay. It's the moment of truth, everybody. I'll use it keep it like this. I mean, first off, let me just say, I, I do like this chunky package. Um, it reminds me of ice cube trays. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. So, 
it's everything's intact which is excellent and I know that there's supposed to be like a, a palette um, along with the case so let me see oh yes here we are wow that's, that's nice um, nice space over here four spots and also I mean if you really need to you can use this maybe as well um, let me see what else is here so to get these out is going to be interesting they're kind of like they're really set in there so maybe oh here we go wow nice color so this is the first color what I'm going to do I'm actually going to open it up and I will leave it and I don't think I'm going to end up taking off the whole um, film this thing I'm, I think I'm going to leave it so I can close it and close it up whenever I'm done with it I don't know if it's going to get in the way eventually, but we'll see. Um, yeah, everything's in Chinese. That's like a funny cat. But yeah, okay. So here I go. I'm thinking this side would be the best. And I, I've heard that it's going to be messy. Like, I've seen people make messes, so maybe I need more tissue paper. Here we go. This is hard. Oh. I love magenta-ish colors. These pink, bright pinks. I don't really know what color it is. Uh, because they're they're in it's in Chinese, right? But it's like this pinkish magenta. Not really hmm, I guess I could call it magenta, maybe. But it's so nice. So I'm not going to, like I said, I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this. Because I want to close it up and close it properly. Because I, I know that I've heard that even if it dries up, you can reactivate it. But I kind of want to keep the jelliness. It's so nice. Okay, so that is good. And I know you guys want to probably see the paint. But I'm going to do swatches as it is, okay? I didn't expect it to be like this. Uh, like it, it is harder to take out because it's so like tight knit. But that's cool. It's all good. Here we go. Oh, see, I already got some paint on me. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, this color is so bright. It looks so good on my camera. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm not yet sure if I want to organize this in a particular way. Oh yes, it's right. But then again, oh, another white. Um, because I am so... This one's a bit too easy to open. That's okay. So far, so far I haven't had any issues. I'm actually surprised um, because some of the reviews I've seen like it was difficult for them to open. So I'm just it. I'm going to put this in. I want to keep the colors as they are. I had meant because just because I'm, I'm a bit of a purist that way. Okay, uh, this nice red. It's almost like. That um, vermilion, vermilion, or vermil yeah, vermilion red. Very nice. It's like um, oh. <laughs> okay, so I didn't hurt myself. It's just the red. Um, this one, it's like um, what are they called? Not really beige, but like this yellow mustardy color. Very nice. 
This sounds um, almost like um, it is like orangish yellow. Ooh, peacock blue ish. Another green. Wow, there's like a lot of green. This sounds like a darker version of that other frog, like the Kermit green that we looked at earlier. This one, brown. Very nice. Very nice. I might have to um, take off the whole the top eventually maybe if I get too annoyed. The reason why I'm keeping the top on is because I don't want it to get like um, solid that fast. Partly because it's a lot of paint and I already have like wat uh, watercolors and such that I am working with so I might not get to use them. I, I might not draw it. Oh, so pretty. Such a nice red. Um, I might not use them as frequently as I would like. So, oh, it's another nice brown color. Very nice. I do really like these little jelly cups. They're, they're called the jelly cup gouache set, right? It's like the Himimia jelly cup gouache set. Oh, beautiful purple. I don't know if my camera does justice though. The purple is like more darker than it shows there. Over here, oh, in my camera it almost looks like Barney purple, but in real life it's a bit more darker. Beautiful, like midnight blue. Or maybe it's navy blue. I'm not the best with the colors, names. It's a little tough. Oh wow. That's the most mess I've made so far. Oh no. My beautiful nail polish. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Oh wow wow. It's a popper. <gasps> See what's happening? I don't know how to stop doing that. I open it from elsewhere. Oh my gosh. This thing was ready to pop out the minute I opened it. So. Okay. It's a blue. A very dark blue. Uh, and it's it, it was popping out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brush and kind of push it back in. Stay there. I'm not ready to use you just yet. But since I don't like to waste things, this is what we will do. I'm going to use this. on my swatch paper. Let's do it this way. I just want to see what this color looks like. Okay, it is really nice. It's a blue. I don't know if you can tell, but maybe the more I add water, you might be able to tell. Look at that. See how it works with oh that water turns such a nice blue color. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is really nice. I can get used to this. It's so pigmented. I think that is a beautiful color. I don't know what I just did there, but I'm thinking it's, I was thinking more like a scenery with like trees and water. But you know. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going to keep moving forward with my unboxing here, and my hand is beautiful. 
I might go wash my hands too. So, I'll just open this one last thing. This last one, uh, I think it was a... I think it's black. Yeah. Seems about right. Alright. So, that was nice. And I know you guys can't see it, so you can't see the colors. I mean, we're on the same boat. But what I will do is I'm going to do some swatches uh, on this thing. And then we will do a painting. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Good as new. Yay. Well, almost. Um, so, we will do some swatches and I will do it like this. But... Wow, that's a nice color. So this is without water. I'm actually just going to use the same brush because that will make it so much easier. Um, and this is with water. Let's see how light I can get it. a bit more on top of so see the good thing with this is um, once you light it up well, I mean once you lighten it up with some water you can go over it and it doesn't um, doesn't seem to kind of get uh, it doesn't seem to like remove what's in the under layer if that makes sense so you can really like layer on top of it easily and I think that's that's kind of like similar to uh, I mean it's similar to acrylic right you can do that with acrylics uh, you can layer on top of each paint and it wouldn't take away from the layer underneath that's good beautiful color look at that very nice okay um, it's beautiful bit of water. See? I, I don't know if you can see, but uh, kind of like what I was saying, like once you put the first layer, if you go over it, um, it has a tendency to, I mean it's not doing it as much here, maybe it was too wet, but like you can still kind of keep that bottom layer and not ruin it as much as you would maybe with watercolor. Really? So yeah, the thing with gouache is they don't do the wet on wet as well. Maybe it's just, I don't know if it's my paper, but I don't think it does. Um, so here we have it. These are the, the colors of my new Wash set. So that's these are the colors. Very nice. I do really like these colors. I'm so excited to use them on my painting.
there you have it. So this is my first attempt at the gouache. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. I really like the paint set. Still have a lot of paint, like this is like drying off, but it's still usable. So I think I'm going to just do some doodles uh, with this remainder because I don't like wasting paint. Um, and maybe I will post it on Instagram or something. So this was my uh, this was my review of the Himi gouache and my impressions. I really like the box. I really like the pigmentation. I like the color, and I love the fact that it's reactive. Um, you know, it's reactivating uh, qualities, just like watercolor. And um, I really like this set. I'm really happy, and it has a lot. Uh, you know, 30 milliliters is a lot uh, of, of paint, so I'm quite happy with it. And I will continue to use this. I'm excited to use it a lot more with more different um, drawings that I do. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stop there for today. Uh, love to uh, read your comments if you have anything to put down below. Uh, please feel free. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.